message was sent and received. You do not need to know what you need, what you need. Just engage with the podcast feed. Engage with the podcast feed. Providing weekly insights into cool stuff we've read, saw, did, or heard about what made us say, wow, Eureka. Damn. Nothing is off limits. If it motivates and inspires you to reach your goals, then it shall be discussed. Featuring guest interviews from high performers and people of influence. And weekly awards for the best mic drop moment. This podcast is guaranteed to leave you pumped up for the week ahead. Don't just live life. Make life how you guys doing out there it's Douglas Hammond DJ for another show the mic drop club coming live and direct in quarantine yes I'm by myself today but still focused on giving you great content stuff that can uplift you motivate you and inspire you to achieve your biggest brightest boldest goals now as we are moving into week three of this self-isolation thing a lot of you would be feeling the pressures in terms of maintaining the positive mindset okay the habits and the rituals that you're used to if you're going to work for example wake up in the morning you have a shower brush your teeth a certain way um get dressed um, grab your bunch of keys, run out of the house, eating pieces of toast, drive to petrol station, get your coffee, sit through traffic. All of these behaviors, all of these habits are all, all going to be changed. You're stuck at home. So what can we do when we have to reframe and revisit the things that we can or cannot do because we've got um, restrictions in our movements. We're stuck now at home. We need to take a closer look at the habits that we did before and change them for new habits. So whereby you were in the car for two hours or an hour a day or you're commuting and you had your, let's do your podcast on and you're listening to your audio books, whatever. Now, because you're not doing that travel, you can read the book directly you can read the book sitting down wake up still at the same time as you are so you don't shock the body because when you do shock the system it can go in any way it can go very negative for you and in the sense that you get more withdrawn you self-isolate even beyond the self-isolation that you're in already you can feel um depressed you can feel low you are going to be visited by thoughts in terms of what am I doing here? You know, what job did I actually have that was adding value or not adding value? This is an opportunity for you to reflect because it's forced upon us. And whereby as before, you might have been going through a process whereby everything's cool. You're happy to get paid once a month, which works, at, works out as 12 times per year. And there's no real impetus for you to change that. Everything is okay in your world. Everything is golden. But now coronavirus has come. Everything is turned up on his head. I spoke about this in previous podcasts in, in the sense that there are going to be new industries that are going to be coming up because of the coronavirus. Take a look at the job that you're currently doing and ask yourself, are the skills and the outcomes of what you do still relevant post-coronavirus post coronavirus, because we are going to get to a stage whereby the coronavirus is no longer, go, no longer going to be prevalent in the way it is within our society, okay? But, so what are you doing to readdress the skills that might be needed after that? Are you one of these people that are actually use, use, using this time to binge, over binge, watching Netflix, Disney Plus, any box set scenario, you know, opposed to taking a look at your skills. There's opportunity whereby there's so many things you can do online that can help propel you forward, that can help you equip yourself for the skills that you might need post coronavirus. I think it's important that we do take our time to look at that. And as I start off the conversation, the, the behaviors that we do embark upon, you know, we have to change those behaviors and those rituals and those habits for new ones. Whereby if you were going to the gym 
Now it's, a, it's important time for you to take those weights from underneath the bed, dust them off, okay? And figure out what home exercise routine can you do. Now it's more about being creative. Now is the time whereby we need to really explore um, in our minds how best can we maximize on this opportunity. And I do view it, view it as an opportunity. Yes, people are dying. Yes, people are going to be um, not feeling well. Yes, um, people are going to lose their jobs. But still, out of all of this, there's an opportunity for us to do think and behave in a completely different way, okay? Cleansiness is next to godliness. I was told that by my parents at, at a very young age, okay? So moving on from our personal hygiene, how, how best can we connect? Well, we've got the internet. That's not down. We can still communicate with families all over the place. You know, reach out, connect, have FaceTime with your loved ones. Do conference calls with your friends. All the technology is there, is out there, and for the greater part of it, it is free. So I do um, really recommend and subscribe to you all that take a look at the opportunities that you have, okay? No longer being part of the rat race does not mean you behave like you're in the rat race in the house. Okay, there are things that you can do to make yourself ultra productive, even switch up the days in terms of one day when you're working from home, as you work from home anyway, dress up like you're going to work. Why not? Wouldn't it be cool if you connect to your, your colleagues and you're all suited and booted? Wouldn't that be some cool thing to do? You know, is it just me? Or do, or do you have to all the time be in your pyjamas? I find personally that when I'm in my pajamas and I'm working from home, my attitude changes. I'm a bit more relaxed. And that can, that can also be reflected in the emails I'll be sending out. Okay. And, 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 and in the general way I, I attack my actions for the day. When I do um, dress myself smart, casual, even though I'm at home, I do have a completely different mindset. I'm far more focused and far more engaged okay so let's try to do that as well you know in the uk we've got an hour curfew or well, hour to for exercise per day use that effectively if you don't have a dog you can't get a dog but maybe half an hour in the morning half an hour in the afternoon go for a strong um walk in the sense that you're walking with purpose you're not walking at a leisurely um pace you're walking at a pace whereby that you increase your heart rate, okay? Because what you want out of that is get your endorphins fired up. And that is a happy chemical that the body naturally produces, okay? So doing those things will also help you. And talk through some of the challenges that you're going through with your friends and your colleagues. You're not alone in this process, okay? It's a long process for everybody. The whole planet Earth is going through this. So please, please be safe, you know, observe good hygiene practices, okay? If you're in the UK, we've got the two metre distance rule, only leave the house for essential trips, okay? Keep yourself safe and others safe. I'll catch you on the other side, guys. I'm out. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to check out micdropclub.com and get the show notes and useful links. Subscribe to the podcast. Don't just live life, make life boom. <laughs>